what would you say, if you could guess or surmise, why it has worked, what, and what does the future look like as, as far as we move into a kind of a paradigm that takes that as, as fact that it does? I would say that we've seen enough in fields of science, medicine, psychology, physics, psychical research, and in the individual testimony of sensitive individuals for generations mm -hmm. to convey to us that there is some non-physical quality to our right. intelligence and that it falls to our generation with the opportunities that we have and the data that we've been able to imbibe not to piece it all together because I don't know that it'll fall to us to piece it all together but to experiment try it create a body of testimony and you don't have to join anything or tell anyone about it and this may not be a message that's necessary for people in this room because if you're here chances are you're already into some sort of spiritual or metaphysical search or experimentation but the message that I would want to bring to mainstream people and that I was able to come to myself is don't let anyone laugh you out of imbibing this literature and using this literature I don't care what the title is. I don't care if it's Think and Grow Rich or The Science of Getting Rich or The Mystic Path to Cosmic Power, which happens to be a favorite book of mine by a man named Vernon Howard. Use it. It's there for you to use. People try to line me up all the time to criticize Joel Osteen or to criticize The Secret or what have you, and I won't do it because I feel that The Secret, for example, which people constantly criticize, it did get a body of people thinking about the different possibilities and perhaps different ways mm -hmm. to use their minds. Emile Coué, the French hypnotherapist, was endlessly made fun of mm -hmm. in the early 20th century, but he was experimenting with different possibilities and different ways that we can use our minds. Use this material. It's a, it's a precious time that we have now to experiment, and I would say try it. Something everybody wants to save the world and do everything outwardly. If you shift one thing, mm -hmm. whether it's subtle or, or more tangible, obvious, within yourself, we're part of, like you're talking about, we're part of this greater grid. Mm -hmm. So it affects the entire grid. So everything you're thinking has an effect mm -hmm. on the entire grid of all consciousness, whether you're on this planet or beyond. Mm -hmm. So it's important to pay attention to your thoughts and what you right. And that's why when one great master comes along, they affect millions of people. But now's the time for a lot of us to come into that mastery. And in a new way, collectively, not following one thing. Well, thank you, Mitch. Thank you.